Hi, my name is Matt Bolton and I'm the CEO of Zara. Every day businesses tell us how they struggle to control content created by employees that is not on brand. They might be using an old version of the logo. They take liberty with using non-corporate colors on documents or they're just not using the right font styles. But today I'm proud to show you how the Zara team has solved one of the major issues with brand management. The power of Zara is its smart branding technology that ensures every element on a document is properly branded, all automatically. Let me show you how it's done. So as you can see here, I opened up a template and um, the Zara brand was automatically applied. That brand is set up here over on the right hand side. You can set up multiple brands within Zara. It's really easy to do. Let's go ahead and create a brand now. So if I hit create a brand, let's call it, I'm gonna call this one Zara logo. And then you can hit next step. And we can go ahead and take a logo. I'm gonna use the dark icon one for this use case. As you can see here, Zara has automatically created an inverted logo, basically that how the logo would work on a dark background. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to the white version since we already have it and hit apply. Then we'll go to the next step. Now there's two options you have here. One is you can auto generate your color palette from your logo, which is really cool and easy. Or you can manually click on these and enter your hex codes or find colors that appropriately fit using the color selector. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as is. Hit next. It's all about the fonts. So if you've uploaded custom fonts into the system, um, they will be available to you here, or you can go ahead and select from the drop-down list. In our case, I know our font is Poppins for headers and for normal text. It's Roboto, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use Roboto then. The other two I'll leave the same, and then we're done. Now the other option you have here is to automatically apply this brand to all documents. So if this is your primary brand, this would be the one you would wanna set by default. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit finish. And now this brand is automatically applied to documents. If I wanted to go back to the previous brand, I could just click here and the document will change. As I mentioned before, it's applied to any component on a document. So if I go ahead and add additional pages uh, from a template, everything's gonna be branded. Um, in addition, let's add a blank page and let's add a diagram on here, maybe a Venn and drag it onto the document. As you can see, it will automatically pick up the colors of the brand. Very quick, easy, a great way for users to not have to worry about it um, branding, but also a great way for you as the business leader, the person responsible for the brand in the market to control what happens on any document that's created within Zara Cloud. Um, let's say for example too, that you needed to make a change. Um, uh, let's say in this case, we go here and somebody says we need another theme color, we need another brand color. Um, if you go here and just, let's, we'll make it, um, let's go with the red here and hit save. It will automatically change it. Then you can select here the brand. As you can see, it's automatically applied. You can adjust it further here if you so choose um, and hit next step and finish. And what the power of this is, is now anybody using this brand in a document, that document will automatically be updated. So the users of the system don't have to do anything uh, in order for you to push out new brands and changes and components. This is just one um, natural and easy step into the whole brand management process within Zara. Um, Thank you, um, hope you enjoy it and look out for additional um, brand management capabilities uh, from us in the near future. Thanks.